we're going to take you through the process of what you're going to go through if you need a basketball. First, you've got to look at the size of what you want. In the women's or 12 and under, you're looking for a size 6 basketball. Myself, I'm looking for a size 7. So we're looking for a size 7. So many to choose from. Probably looking at what's the difference in some of the prices. Some we got here for $49.99 and then $24.99. What's going to be some of the differences? They're both sporting. But what are we going to find here? Outdoor ball. Rubber ball. Sporting original game ball. Double the price. Does it offer double the awesomeness? <laughs> yeah, composite leather. Previous ball was all rubber, and this one's a composite leather. Then here we are on the Spalding 1000. This ball's going for $149.99. The price will reflect that it's a leather ball. The Spalding TF1000 here, that's the real deal. That's like the real deal game ball. We got rubber going for 25. You got composite or synthetic going for 50, and then you got the full leather going for 150. You can tell each time you change material, you're going up in price. The difference is the constructed material. This one is made of all rubber. The indoor ball will be made of part rubber, part leather, part plastic type material they call synthetic leather or composite leather. It's a full leather ball. There's a reason it said indoor only. You're actually good. That's actually a nice strip of leather. So the rubber, harder to touch on the fingers. The composite leather ball, the one that's made of different materials, that's a little softer to touch, but it's also hard enough that it could be bounced outdoors. It was a perfect ball until I took it outside one time, and that ruined it there ever since. There's a reason it said indoor only. I'm going to be looking for a composite leather ball, looking to replace the Jordan Legacy ball. Here it is, Jordan Legacy. That's, that was worth it. Because of what we do, I will always go for the composite, which is the indoor and outdoor ball, which is the soft feel of the leather indoor, but with the toughness of the rubber outdoor, outdoor ball. It's the best of both worlds, and they're usually reasonably priced. There are courts listed on the Gold Coast. They don't have much information on the court. You don't know if it's really a half court, quarter court.